Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. If it looks different behind me, it is. We are on actually on vacation and we're taking products on a road trip because we want to see how they perform. This right here is the KYY portable display monitor type C. What is type C? We're going to get into all that. Don't you worry about that. Just like all my unboxing and review videos in the description box right below the video is going to be this exact same product. So once the review is over with and you feel like purchasing it, that link will be in the description box below. You guys in the UK, if they sell it in the UK, I will have you linked as well. Let me read a couple specifications for you guys real quickly before we do take it out of the box. The product type is type C portable display. Net weight is 770 grams. Visual area is 344.16 times 194.59 mm. Screen size is 15.6 inches. Aspect ratio is 16.9. Resolution is full 1080p. Color temperature is 6800K. Output interface is a 3.5 millimeter headphone interface. It does have built-in speakers, one watt times two, so two speakers, one watt a piece. This is really sweet for obviously editing on the go. I'm editing on a laptop computer. My home desktop computer is 30 inches. I am now working on a 15 inch screen laptop so it's very nice to be able to have an external monitor. I will of course be showing you that. To be able to work on the go, work at home, an external monitor for your phone, for your play console, whatever it might be, laptop, cell phone, tablet, Let's get this out of the box, take it through the test runs. Okay, let's see what we have inside. Right off the bat is going to be a nice little protective sheet for the monitor. Let's get that out of the way. We do have our monitor here, and it does look like they do give you a screen protector as well, if you wanna use a screen protector on the top of your display. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way real quickly here. In this little small bag right here, we're gonna have a guesstimation. My guess is three footer USB to type C. What's nice about type C is type C pretty much on all new Samsung devices, Pixel phones, devices are going type C, so that is awesome. That again is a three foot cable. Over here is gonna be your wall adapter, coming in at five volt there. All right, let's get the display out of here. Take it for a little look-see before we do hook it up. Underneath it though, before we do, we have a couple of cables here, which is very nice. We have ourselves also a patch insulation cleaning kit, but we do also have an HDMI right there to a mini HDMI cable there. And then our other cable inside is gonna be a type C to a type C over here on this side as well. So two cables, including our three foot one we just saw, three cables. Also inside the box, which we're gonna get to in just a second, is a magnetic smart cover. Again, your USB-C to USB-C cable, mini HDMI to HDMI, USB-C to USB-A, and your five volt, two amp power adapter there, like I just mentioned. All your different settings and how to connect it to different devices, all the directions are gonna be in this manual here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the monitor. Very, very nice. Looks like we already have our magnetic cover already on, which is gonna be folded on this side here, and you're gonna fold it up on this side here with the bottom right there. That's actually super sweet as you fold it down, and then of course this will fold up, I'll show you that, so you can go ahead and mount that using that as a stand. And we do have a piece of plastic right on the top of that. Go ahead and remove that when you are ready. And that is a sweet monitor, guys. It does remove entirely from the magnetic cover if you do want to remove that magnetic cover. And very, very thin. As we can see there, speaker on the side there, again, one watt. And a beautiful, beautiful monitor. Let's go ahead and take a look at this side now. We have our headphone jack here. We have our scroll wheel for volume up and down. And we also have our power on button right here that is going to be the bottom left edge there, as we can see there. And also, look at that, just beautiful aluminum there on the back. Now coming over here to this side, we're gonna have our mini HDMI port, we're gonna have our power USB-C, and our charge USB-C here on this side, right here, with a speaker on this side, and then also, of course, a speaker on this side as well. There's not gonna be anything on the bottom, and there's not gonna be anything on the top here either. But let's go ahead and take a look at how thin this thing is. Look at, compared to my thumb, that is very thin and beautiful. All the way around the top and bottom edge there, and I do like how it is widescreen. That is very beautiful. Not to mention the very sexy magnetic screen protector there. Be able to throw that in your backpack, especially when I am traveling and have an external monitor on the go. Let's hook this thing up. I'm actually super pumped about it and let's see how she works. Looking really good, guys. We have fired up the monitor and looking fantastic. 
You might have to play with your settings right off the bat. I have turned up my brightness about 20 more percent. As you can see here, I am connected to a Windows laptop, so it's showing the same screen. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go into the menu of the laptop and change this one to screen one or two. It's actually in the instructions here how to do that if you don't know how to already do that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make this the secondary screen. So when I'm editing on this one, I can do my preview window over here on this one. Or if you're surfing the web, instead of going back and forth, you can leave it like this if you really want to. But of course, most people get a secondary screen so that we can have our main screen here and then shoot a tab over here to this one. So this one is displaying our secondary options, which of course we will show you an example. Let me go ahead and mess around with the settings. Be back with you. Okay, let me show you what I did here and it might make it easier for you guys in the settings here. So what I did is I just right clicked on this here and I went down to screen resolution, clicked on that, and then this pops up here. So what I did is I went down to multiple displays and instead of duplicating it, I actually clicked on extend these displays. Once you extend these displays, then it won't go the same thing for each. I was on duplicate. I applied the settings and then once you apply the settings, my number one, which is this one, which is not full 1080p, this is only HD 720. This is full 1080p. I want this one on full 1080p. So you just click on this and then it shows you the settings there. My K1, I have that on on landscape 1080p extending the monitors here so that fixed the issue for me which is absolutely wonderful so let me go ahead and show you what it looks like here so over here on this screen we have a couple tabs open let's go ahead and fire up what I had on this monitor here which is going to be slick deals now what I can do here of course is I can go ahead and click on that see if I can do this with one hand while filming and I drag that tab over here and let's go ahead and bada bing bada boom. So now I've used whatever I want over here and vice versa. So I have two screens. This is absolutely fantastic like I mentioned for when I am editing. I am in Colorado right now visiting and so this is definitely helpful for my editing preview screen over here. Of course even if you're scrolling the web have something over here like slick deals. Let's say you're trying to buy something on eBay or Amazon Ba, 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 ba. trading stocks. A lot of day traders, of course, have multiple screens. So this is absolutely fantastic. Let's go ahead and look at the stand. As we can see here, you just fold up the front portion and then the back portion is actually attached completely there. Make a nice little triangle cord management right through the back with the provided cable. I am using a longer type C for the power that I already had. And again, fold it up for the front, being able to beautifully display side-by-side -side monitors. That's awesome. Awesome. And what I do like about it is that obviously it is the same 15 inch, but 15.6 widescreen. I like that much, much better than just the standard 15 over here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at it connected to my Samsung S8 Plus. Right here, we are connected. It says, welcome to Samsung DeX. And so what we'll do is we'll have to go ahead and confirm this. This is the first time I've used an external monitor with my Samsung S8 Plus, but this is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Now, let me go ahead and show you a couple tips on this as well. We were using the power USB type C to power the monitor. And then we were using the provided cable HDMI mini to HDMI on my laptop. We already saw that. Well, this is even cooler. Check this out. The Samsung S8 Plus is powering this monitor right here. So this is another option as well. According to the instructions, if there is no external power supply, the phone would supply power to the monitor, then the monitor would turn to energy saving mode, 30% brightness, which this is super bright still, so I'm digging that. So you can have this powered up to a power source or using your phone. Again, the provided type C in here to type C in here, being able to power the monitor. Let's go ahead and hit continue for Samsung DeX and we'll go ahead and start it here. And what it will do is it will literally start mirroring my phone here in just a second here. And what happens here is just like a Mac, now my phone is turning this monitor 
into, literally, this is so cool, into a, a desktop computer. So this becomes your computer, and then you are able to go ahead and do this. If you're not familiar with Samsung DeX, it's super cool. And then we've turned my phone with Samsung DeX into a scroll wheel, because this obviously doesn't have a USB port, unless you had a mouse that is Type-C, but we are using the Type-C over here. So you just turn your Samsung phone into a mouse, scroll over, and then you go ahead and check your email, you go on the internet, etc. Now you don't have to use this if you don't want to. You can go ahead and mirror whatever is on your phone if you don't want to use DeX. And remember, if you do not want to use Samsung DeX, just go into your settings and go ahead and switch over to mirroring. That way, whatever your phone is showing is gonna come up on the monitor here, which is awesome. Forgive a little bit of shadowing in the background there, but this looks great and it's absolutely fantastic. Let's see. I don't know if it's gonna be able to go this way or not. Very cool. So you flip it over to landscape mode and it flips over to landscape mode on the monitor. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you are using your phone to power the monitor, it will drain your phone pretty quickly, but really cool to be able to show your family, your photos, external monitor, like I said, while I'm editing my videos, having that extra 15.6 inch screen on the side for preview windows, extra tabs, etc. Guys, all right, guys, we're gonna listen in here just briefly. It's just gonna be me talking, and I just want to show you the volume of the speakers here. Uh, so let's go ahead and listen in. Now, this is my own video, so we won't get a copyright here, which is good. Hold on, let's go ahead and listen in. massage gun it's going to be a lot smaller than their other models and i've already reviewed their other model of the recover fun massage gun so i'm looking forward to a mini this is the first time i've actually got my and remember the speakers are coming out of the sides here and coming out of the size here they sound decent nothing spectacular but decent for as small as they are great external monitor comes with all the bells and whistles the stand and magnetic cover is amazing as well just like all my videos guys in the description box below once again will be this exact same external monitor you guys in the uk look for your link below as well and just like all my videos i do make guys please don't go into debt for anything that i do review and make a video about but if you have the cash and it intrigues you go ahead and purchase on away hit that thumbs up button on your way out and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next video. My name's Chris. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.